design loses to engineering on Twitter and now engineers will have the biggest say in the future of the platform and I'm already seeing a lot of UX gurus crying on LinkedIn. I've been designing digital products since 1998 so design is the way my brain operates. Yet I believe that this decision that Elon made is actually a good one here. Now, to be clear, as I myself am a pretty hardcore crunch type kind of person working crazy hours, I don't think enforcing that way or that lifestyle onto everybody at the company is necessarily the best idea for productivity. Yes, I work that way, but I think many people are actually discouraged by crunch and discouraged by that much push, so their output is going to be lower quality. Okay, but why is design secondary? Why is it less important while rebuilding Twitter into its future? Let's start with the basics. Twitter has been around since 2006, so in tech years it's practically eternity. It has gotten a bit more robust over the years, but not really groundbreaking in any way, and they still didn't figure out proper monetization. Yes, Twitter has been losing money forever. But at the same time, it is at a place where it has become an important world stage for people to share opinions, where politics are formed, where companies are destroyed. So a lot of stuff that's important to the world is happening on Twitter. But it needs changes. And first idea, obviously, for us designers would be to say, let's ask the users. And you know what the users will say? They want Trump banned and they want an edit button and that's it. Elon's idea is based on engineering, code and servers, design being secondary, even though he did say it's important but not as important. Think of it this way, if Twitter is losing money, it means that a lot of that money has to go into running the servers, into the servers, into the infrastructure. So just the 1% in optimizing the servers would lead to huge savings for the company. The essential part, since the service already works, is keeping it running. And of course there had been some controversy about laying off some infrastructure engineers, but with the market right now, with literally a hundred thousand plus people being fired in the US alone this year, I think that they're gonna find engineers, so that's not really a problem. After optimization, the maintenance part will be handled by somebody. So with that out of the way, we need some more features, right? We need something to push the platform to the top. Now, I assume Twitter has a component library or maybe even a full design system. So they don't really need to focus on the UI part here at all. It's pretty defined, even though it's maybe not perfect, but it works. So with the fast engineering driven approach, they can just take those building blocks and build a new feature and then basically A-B test it on production or just test it on production, deploy it. And if people complain that they can't use the service right or they hate it, then you can just take it away. Proper design process has become so convoluted and lengthy over the years that it's actually slowing things down quite a bit. And in many companies, especially bigger ones, Making a decision to change something on the platform drastically can take months. And as long as the core functionality of tweeting works and you can just post something to Twitter, then we're fine, because all of the other stuff is completely secondary. They can play around with this, they can add a feature, they can break it sometimes like they broke the two-factor authentication. And guess what? A couple people couldn't log into the service for a day. Then it got fixed and everybody forgot about it. And that fast approach, that fast iterative approach, brings me back big time to the early 2000s where we just kind of experimented. It was a lot more fun because we weren't constrained by following the holy process every single time. Instead, it was all about let's build it, see if it works, and if it doesn't, let's improve it right away, right on production, let's kind of go crazy here. So yes, going fast will result in errors, mistakes, broken functionalities, but as long as tweeting works, then we're gonna be fine with this. Twitter has to outgrow its current form to really fly. 
so they need to move fast, they need to break things and of course design isn't going to be completely ignored. I think what they're doing is putting design in the backseat but still with the ability to give them some driving directions but without over scrutinizing every little detail. I really like that approach and you know what it kind of makes me want to go and build a startup of my own. Just kind of seeing that energy and yeah maybe I will but shh. Go outside, enough computers for today, have a great weekend and have a beautiful day and I'll see you back on Monday. I